Ready with the Shamrock Financial Corporation Cruiserweight tail of the tape. Josh Harris, 9-6-1 with seven knockouts, weighing 199 and a half pounds, hitting at six feet, one inch from Providence, Rhode Island. His opponent, Quantis Graves, 8-0 with four knockouts, weighing 196 pounds, sitting at six feet, two inches from Beaumont, Texas. For the official fighter introductions, let's head down to the center of the ring with Jamie Bellevue. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is a six round match at the Cruiserweight division, the 200 pound limit. Introducing first, fighting with the blue trunks, weighing 196 pounds and one half pounds, standing at six feet, two inches, he hails from Beaumont, Texas, with a professional record of eight wins, zero defeats, four big wins coming by way of knockout. Here is Quantus Graves. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black trunks with white trim. He weighed in at an even 199 pounds, standing six feet, one inches, hailing from Providence, Rhode Island. His professional record, nine wins against six defeats with one draw. Seven wins coming by way of knockout. Introducing Josh Harris. Ready with the six-round cruiserweight bout between Providence, Rhode Island's Josh Harris, originally from Youngstown, Ohio. 9-6-1 with seven knockouts. The 31-year-old is 2-3 and three in his last five bouts. He's wearing the black shorts with the white trim. His opponent, Quantas Graves from Beaumont, Texas, originally from New Orleans, Louisiana. 8-0 with four knockouts for the 31-year-old. This is his first fight in 2013. He fought three times in 2012 and three times in 2011. So we're going to see if there's any ring rust here, Steve. It's already September, and it's just his first fight of the year. I tell you, I'm, I'm a firm believer in ring rust. I really am. Um, you know, we'll see if it if it plays out here. But, um, you know, when you don't get in there, when you don't walk up them stairs and you don't get that live look all the time, it definitely wears on you. You know, your reactions slow down a little and stuff like that. So we'll see what happens. We'll see how it plays out. And not only is he battling ring rust, he's also battling a fighter with a lot of momentum on his side. Josh Harris coming off a big win at Madison Square Garden where he knocked out a 9-1 and one fighter. So not only has he not been in the ring for a while, but his opponent is coming off a win of a career. So right now he's going in there with confidence thinking he can knock just about anybody out. Yeah, I mean, you know, Josh is a, you know, is a lefty. And again, he's trying to establish his jab. He's trying to get outside that front foot, see what he can open up. Um, you know, and like you said, coming off a ton of momentum and uh, you know, see, see if he can build off that tonight with another big knockout. 31-year-old Quantas Graves, again, coming from Texas. All of his pro fights have been in Louisiana, except for one fight, which was in Mississippi. So his first time fighting up here in the Northeast. Josh got to get his hands moving a little bit here. You see Graves trying to be the busier fighter. I mean, you, you know, you see Josh walk around for a minute, minute and a half, not doing anything. He throws one left hand at Lance. You, you think, well, what's he waiting for? Throw another one. Like, what, what is he waiting for? You get glove to glove. You know, you, you're a 200-pound guy. You get glove to glove with somebody, you got to let some leather go. That's the one dangerous part about fighting a guy like Josh Harris. We've seen him in a four-round fight literally not throw a punch until the last minute of the four-round fight and knock the opponent out cold. Well, you, you know what you're seeing right here, Pat, is you're seeing him load up on his shots, and he's, he's trying to... You know, he's trying to get that big shot in there. You know, he remembers that knockout his last fight, so he's trying to throw that big shot. 
And, uh, you know, you got caught with a couple counter shots there because he really opened up and swung for the fences. Instead of putting his punches together behind his jab and, and using those lefty angles. You know, we'll see if Alondo Vals makes a, makes a correction in between rounds. CBS Falcons is new sponsoring partner, Hub Boxing. Between rounds here, we go over to the corner of Quartus Graves. You might, you might care not what we set out to do. When you're throwing, you're standing in one spot. I would have to give that first round to Graves. I, mean, I, I would have to say he's up one up. You know, it, it is a sixth round, so you get a little bit of time. But you know, the, the underdog, I guess you could say, is you know he's up one up. That's a big first round to get some momentum, some confidence. And you know, he controlled the center of the ring. He was a busier fighter. And what his corner now is telling him it's more than just one punch. Connect with that punch and then keep going at it. For round number two of a scheduled six. And Graves comes out with that jab right away. Putting it out there, putting that range finder out there right away. Round number two here brought to you by Prudential Gaming's Realty. CES Boxing brought to you by Jimmy Birchfield and Twin River Event Center here in Lincoln, Rhode Island. Pat Sullivan, Steve Mays, your broadcaster for tonight's fight. It's about in the cruiserweight division, Josh Juice Harris and the Black Trunks, nine, six, and one from Providence, Rhode Island. Qantas Graves, eight and zero with four knockouts from Beaumont, Texas. Graves coming out real aggressive in the first round and, and a half here. In his last six fights, Steve, the combined record of his opponents were 0-14. So he hasn't been facing the same competition that Josh Harris has faced, beating a guy who was 9-1 in his last fight, knocking out a guy who was 10-1 a year and a half ago. Josh Harris has been in there with some pretty tough competition and never backed down. So we'll see if the level of competition plays in maybe in the later rounds here. You know, as you say that, Graves definitely looks like the more confident fighter. Arguably, he won the first round, and, you know, he's doing a, a good job this round. But you're absolutely right. As this fight wears on, you're going to see the level of competition that each guy has faced really show up. And, and, you know, when Graves doesn't get him out of there, he's going to wonder why. Looks like Harris is picking it up now, walking him down a little bit more. Uh, trying to plot in and, and throw some big shots. Looks like he went righty as well. He changed the righty. Less than a minute to go here in round number two. You hear Harris is going to be very vocal, telling him to get on it. He looks a half a step behind tonight, Pat. Looks like he's just kind of laying his jab out there. And, you know, laying his, trying to throw those big shots, but just kind of laying his hands out there. Like instead of a lot of snap. I wonder if maybe Harris is trying to tire out Graves without actually doing anything. Yeah, Final 10 seconds to go here in round number two. Just about a third of the way through this cruiserweight bout. I'll tell you, that's a, that, that right there is a tough round to score. That's a real tough round to score. Very vocal quarter. 
here for Joss Juice Harris. Yeah, you, you could say that. Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah. But they're right. You know, they're, they're 100% right. This kid's got to wake up. He's got to get going. He's got to move his hands. You know, he's supposed to be the bigger batter fighter. And, you know, it's time to prove it. For round number three, again, of a scheduled six. I heard the corner telling Harris to go to the body and then back up top, right down the middle. See if Harris can listen to the corner. Right now, it looks like Quantas Grave came out with some more momentum. Two minutes to go here in round number three. Graves still the more active fighter. Harris missing with a big left hook. You see Graves there hooking the arm so that Harris couldn't use it. Referee breaks the fighters up and there's the uppercut that Coach Orlando Vals was looking for. Minute 30 to go here in round number three. Harris trying to counter punch here. You know, you're right, you know, he's trying to hit him with that big counter shot, but it looks like Graves is sneaking in, you know, two and three shots here, two and three shots there. And stuff like that wears down those big guys. That's a beautiful, little low, little low. Uh, I don't know. Looks like a belt shot. Looks like a belt shot. One point deducted right away. to Josh Harris for a low blow. Not even a warning or a mention, just one and done. He might, have, he might have been in there telling him earlier, keep him up, keep him up. But at no point in time did he stop them and, uh, and warn him. That's interesting. I think Danny's a pretty good ref, too. So, I don't know. So, Harris now. Well, he's at the point now where he's, he's way behind the eight ball now. And he's got to go at it. And that shot literally stopped Harris right in the tracks. Just a warning from referee Danny Schiavone. 30 seconds to go here in round number three. See if Harris turns this into a slugfest. He's trying to get those uppercuts to land. But this is what Alondo's talking about. He's in position, he's right there. He has to move his hands, he's got a punch. Harris again back up against the ropes. And one thing that Quantus Graves has been very good at today, Steve, is he's been able to back Harris right up against the ropes, taking his power away, getting in tight with him. Absolutely. Don't worry about the schedule, man. Worry about what you're doing. He's going to take care of the fights. You already got a three minute round. You understand? Try to three rounds. We got three rounds. Let the referee do his job. You do yours. You know, Harris, Harris could be at the point now where he may need a knockout. Depending on how you scored this, he may need a knockout. And there you see the low blow right there. Graves' corner is pleading with them to box and box, and they work too hard for this. Just keep boxing, just keep boxing. number four we're halfway through this fight a fight that Graves has really controlled the the pace and the momentum of 
He's really digging those body shots now. Grace comes right back on a nice body shot. Oh, what a good left hand. Right hand. And again, Harris finds himself up against the ropes, trying to work off it, but Graves being so forward in this fight, been able to bully Harris right up against the ropes. And Harris takes a deep breath in the fourth round. Early in the fourth round, takes a big, deep breath. This is the fifth undefeated fighter that Josh Harris has fought in his career. He's two and two against guys with a zero in the loss column. His two biggest wins have come against a 10 and one fighter and nine and one Alexis Mejias in 2009. And this would be a pretty big win record wise to come back and beat an eight and old fighter. Big boys are starting to trade some shots in there now. Final minute 10 to go in round number four. Ooh, good shot. This is where it becomes dangerous with the fighters, their heads so close together trying to throw these short hooks and uppercuts. Yeah, big guys like this and Harris who can punch. I mean, this is, Harris is in this fight to the last ball. Nice hook connected there by Graves. Again, Harris back up against the ropes. It appears to be that's the game plan for Graves is to get Harris up against the ropes and take away that long distance power. Oh, we caught him on the hooking buckles in there a little bit. Under 20 seconds to go here in round number four. Two thirds of the way through this bout. Oh! Nice exchange there in the final seconds. And we are two thirds of the way through this cruiserweight bout. Listen to the corner here of Josh Harris. Right now. Right the fuck now. This is your turn. This is gonna go up. Listen, stop going. Look at me. Stop throwing your punch from up here. Sit down and dig. I want to hear you in beast mode. You hear me? Listen, you're telling me you're listening, but you ain't fucking listening. Listen, fucking listen. Keep thinking about it. Keep coming up and coming up from upstairs. See, your head hurt too much. The body's wide open when he puts his elbows in like that. They're screaming at Harris in the corner and he's asking for water. Not a good sign. Whole corner seemed to be a little out of it, asking what round it was. It's always interesting watching the corner and fighter exchange. That's one of the benefits of watching the fight here with fight stream is you get to listen in on the corner and hear the advice. I always like enjoying a Steve Mays conversation in between rounds. You're so nice and calm with the fighter. They can be down seven rounds on the scorecard and it's nice and calm. Then you get fighters who their trainers are yelling at them, throwing water in their face. I guess to each its own and it depends on the fighter and the trainer. Every fighter is different and every fight is different. There's some fights where you need to you need to motivate your guy. You need to get in their face a little bit and you need to rev them up. But there's also some times, let's look at this low blow here. Oh yeah, that's, that's a little low. There's other times where you gotta stay calm and you gotta know your fighter and you gotta know the situation. And you know, a lot of fighters are really different. I've worked a lot of corners with, you know, Peter Manfredo who's, you know, hot and cold round to round. Some rounds he's screaming at his guys, some rounds he's just talking to him, but he always gives great instruction. And, you know, you just learn from working with guys and knowing your fighters. But I would definitely be doing the same thing to Josh. I'd be screaming at him. Because the only way he's beating this kid now is by getting him out of there. He's not going to outbox him. He's not going to win a decision at this point. He's got to get him out of there. Two minutes to go here in round number five. 
Josh is trying to let go, Steve. He's, yeah, he's, he's swinging for it. He's trying to work the body, and he's definitely having a much better round this round. Looks like, you know, Alondo and Jose. You know, it looks like they got to him in the corner. It's interesting. You were thinking, of, well, now the fifth round, being already deducted points twice for low blows, that Harris would only concentrate on shots up top. But he's still going to the body. You still got to go downstairs. You can't go away from your game. You know, you you, you can't all of a sudden forget about the body just because you got a couple points deducted. Like I said, at this point in time, you're not gonna win a decision. You might stop him with a body shot. You might catch that right spot and catch him with a good body shot to put him down. I believe Graves just hit him with a very good body shot. Final minute to go here in round number five. So far, Steven, a fight that we anticipated a slugfest. Graves has really broke down Harris in this fight. He smothered him a little bit. You know, he smothered his power. He stayed inside that power. He kept his punches tight, and he's backed him up the entire time. Still, if you're Graves, you have to be fighting the next round, and 30 seconds left in round number five. Still cautious enough knowing that Harris does have that punch. Yeah, that next, the next three minutes and 20 seconds is just as dangerous as the first three minutes and 20 seconds. Because now, you're, you know, if you're at Graves, you're a little more tired, you're a little more vulnerable to get hit with that shot. And now Harris has to throw it. He's up against the wall. Oh, yeah. You're going to see, you should see Josh Harris come out and, and, and give you three of the hardest minutes he has. Check them out today at PatronSpirits.com. Patron, Can you blow my whistle? Tonight's beautiful round card See, this is a classic example of, of Graves' corner being really calm with him. And just telling him, look, you have it won. You know, just be cautious, be ready. But staying really calm, where I'm sure in the other corner, it's a different conversation. Here we go with round number six. Final round between these cruiserweights, Josh Harris in the black and white trunks, Qantas Graves in the blue and white trunks. Pairs, at least to us, that Graves head on the scorecard, especially after having yeah. two points deducted by Harris for low blows. Yeah, you would think. So now, Steve, as a trainer, if you're in Graves' corner, do you tell him now to go out and fight cautious, or do you go, go out and win this round? Well. With Graves, I think you stick to what you're doing. I think you got to smother and stay inside of the power, or you got you either got to be all the way in, or you got to be all the way out. You can't be in that danger zone in the middle. Um, I don't think, and you know, Graves is coaching no better, but I don't think Graves is going to knock out Harris. So if you're not going to knock him out, little, you know, it's better to be a little bit cautious. But keep doing what you're doing. Don't let him get off. Don't let him keep punching. Jab, move, keep your angles, and, and just finish the way you start. Less than two minutes to go. Harris really trying to land that big sweeping right hook. Almost looks like he's pushing his punches instead of snapping them and really you know, trying to put the next punch behind it. to go in the final round.
minute to go. Harris continuing to be frustrated by Graves, who just keeps coming forward. Smart round here by Qantas Graves. Yeah, absolutely. Under a minute to go. And at this point, see, it's really going to have to be that one punch finish here for Harris to yeah. get his 10th pro victory. Twenty seconds to go. And that's just that's about it. it. Nice performance here by Qantas Grave coming into Josh Harris's hometown, dominating the pace, forcing Harris to fight. Pretty much all of six rounds with his back up against the ropes. You know, he, not only did he, not only did he come into his, not only did he come into his backyard, but you know he's coming off a guy who had an enormous, enormous knockout win. So that's an excellent job by Qantas Graves. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Lima scores the bout, 58. 55. Judge Matvis scores about 59 54. Judge Carasoni scores about 58 55 for your winner. For your winner, Qantas Graves. No surprise there with the decision as Qantas Graves earns his ninth professional victory, improves to 9 0 of four knockouts, still undefeated as Josh Juice Harris drops to 9-7-1 and one in his career. Congrats to Qantas Graves coming all the way from Texas to Harris's hometown of Providence to come away with the hard-fought unanimous decision victory. More to come from Twin River Event Center and Jimmy Birchfield's Classic Entertainment and Sports.